Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewelry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pendant. It's made using a teardrop cabochon. You can make it in a different size if you want to and just adjust the, the wire lengths and the weave repeats. I've put a list in the description below of everything you'll need, including links to my Facebook, Instagram, Etsy shop. The Etsy shop is where I sell all my written tutorials, so if you would like to have a look, pop on over and have a look. I am running a sale on there at the moment. To make this pendant you'll need 0.8mm wire, that's 20 gauge, and I've got four lengths at 10 inches, that's 25 and a half centimetres, and one length at four inches, which is 10 centimetres. You'll need 0.315mm weaving wire, that's 28 gauge, and you'll need about 200 centimetres, I'd say, of wound mine onto a bobbin. If you don't have a bobbin, you can just cut lengths as you go. These are Bobby's bobbins by Beadsmith. I've got a little teardrop cabbage on today. Mine is 20 by 15. You can use any kind of size that you want. Um, you could probably use any shape you want, really, because this design is quite adaptable. So just remember to adjust your wire lengths and your weave repeats as you go. We've got a little jump ring that's 8mm outside measurement and a bead, 4mm bead. Tools, I've got my pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutters, nylon pliers, if you don't have these, don't worry, optional. Um, I've put a list of the tools in the description below. I don't put links anymore, but I have wrote what they are and at the minute I'm using. Tronix, I do love these Tronix tools. So enough of that, let's get started. So cut your wire lengths as I have, and we're going to keep the shorter piece for later on and take your four lengths of wires. You can use square, round, whatever you want, it's entirely up to you. I'm using round today, I'm using sterling silver. So find the centre point. You can use copper, you can use whatever you like to make this, it's entirely up to you. So find the middle of the wires, press your thumb on the middle, and we're going to work just to the left of your thumb, that's where we're going to start. So take your weaving wire, and we're going to start with three wraps around that bottom wire. And then we'll go around the bottom two wires twice. Come up between those two wires. We'll go around the middle two wires twice. Come up between those two wires. And we'll go around the top two wires twice. Come up between the bottom two wires. And we'll go around the middle two wires twice. Come under the bottom wire over the second. So we go around the bottom two wires twice. And we'll wrap twice around that bottom wire. And then we'll repeat. So we've got two wraps around the bottom wire. Two wraps around the middle two wires. Two around the top two. Two around the middle two. Two around the bottom two. Two wraps around the bottom wire, and we'll just do that once more. So you want a total of three repeats, and then finish with three wraps around that bottom wire. I like to flatten it down with nylon pliers. If you don't have them, don't worry. Press your weave together as you go. Keep it nice and tidy. You want to cut the wire at the beginning and at the end. 
saw that slide up there. So grip your weave just to the right of that centre point there. And we're going to bend the weave. And we want it to be we want to have a nice gap at the bottom of the stone so i want more of a gap than that so i need to bend it a little bit more got that kind of angle going on and that's how i want it to sit so i've got a nice gap at the bottom so i just want to take a quick second to say thank you to everybody for supporting me all the time i've been doing this and allowing me to make all these videos and subscribing and following and liking commenting and supporting me on facebook and instagram so as a thank you i've written this new tutorial of this cute little design here and i've marked it as 70 percent off 70 percent off for at least the next month get yourself over to etsy cheap as chips go and pick yourself up a written tutorial of mine and just have a go and see how you get on with it it's quite a simple one to do it might look quite complicated but i've really broke it down step by step all the little detail is there all the different things for the techniques to make this particular pendant so if you fancy giving it a go get yourself over there 70 percent off this new um tutorial currently in my etsy shop so thanks to everybody for all your love and support i really appreciate every one of you so moving to a flat surface and you want to try and keep your stone as straight as you can this is where it gets a bit fiddly try and hold your stone straight and we're going to wrap the wires around the stone i don't know if it's because i'm working on a glass surface working on a glass board but it's ever so slidey and when i'm doing this i always tend to bend the one side more than the other and it ends up not very straight so try and get it as straight as you can and try not to let your wires cross over like mine have so you've got that kind of shape so you've got this big gap at the bottom and then the wires wrap around the stone to the top Let's see if i can show you better there you go and then when the wires meet at the top where they cross over each other you've got to try and hold that and then bend those wires sort of up without them crossing over each other too much we'll correct all that in a minute so you just kind of squeeze them together so they all face up and they all sit next to each other so i've adjusted mine a little bit but this is the the shape that you're after. I've got some lovely stripes on my stone today. So I've took my stone out, holding it like this to the side, just at the top here before where they meet. We're just going to do a little bit of a weave just to hold all the wires together at the top. So take your weaving wire. And we're going to go three times around the bottom wire. She's going to do the same as the repeat we did at the bottom, the weave. So wrap three times around that bottom wire. And then we'll go two wraps around the bottom wire. between those bottom two go two wraps around the middle two wires did i say two wraps around the bottom wire i mean three wraps around the bottom wire then we've got two wraps around the bottom two come up between the bottom two we've got two wraps around the middle two come up between the middle two we've got two wraps around the top wire Now you want this to sit below where those wires join so I'm just pulling it down a little bit. Come up between the bottom two and we'll go around those middle two wires twice. It's hard to watch what I'm doing and making sure that it's in focus. 
So then we're going to do two wraps around the bottom two wires and then three wraps around the bottom wire. And this all needs to be below where they join there, like that. So then we're going to cut the weaving wire. Just at both ends. And as we always do, then you have to flatten down any sharp bits. So now turn it over and we're going to do that little weave on this side. Because we want all the weaves to be the same way, all our three wraps are on this which will be the back wire. So we're going to start with three wraps around the top wire and we're just going to do that little weave upside down. So we've got three wraps around the top wire. Push it down a little bit, not too much. So then we want to come up between the bottom two. Is that right? No, the middle two. My wires are a bit bent here. So we come up between the middle two and we go twice around the top two wires. It. and then come up between the bottom two and we go twice around the middle two wires and then twice around those bottom two wires I've really set a challenge for myself today because it's hard to see the silver it's hard to work up close and keep everything in focus at the same time Right then, then we come up between the bottom two and we're going to wrap twice around the middle two. Come up between the middle two and then go twice around the top two wires. I'm definitely going to be using copper next time. We come up between those top two and we go three wraps around that top wire. So we're not going to cut this weaving wire now, we're going to keep this long piece attached for the next bit. So we've got to push that weave along a little bit because we want it to sit next to that join. So we're going to cut this weaving wire from the beginning. Flatten down that sharp bit. Which was pushed together. So we've got the weaving wire attached there like that for the next part. We've got a little wrap at the top and at the bottom. And it'll be a bit tight on the stone now because we've added the weave. So leave your stone for a bit. Take your weaving wire. What's going on with my wire? Right. And we're going to tie it all together at the top. So where the wires come together now, we're going to go around the whole thing about five times. And then take a back wire and we'll go three times around a back wire just to hold it all together. So now we're going to fit the stone so it doesn't keep falling out. So position your stone where you want it, how you want it to be and turn to the back. And this is the most fiddly bit of this one. Just trying to get your stone to stay nice and flat. So looking at the back first, we're going to grab the wire just at the bottom of the stone. 
try and grab the wire and put holding it at, at the top there so you're holding it in place at the top just going to twist so that wire comes in and holds a stone on that side and then you grab the other side oh my stone keeps sliding about try and grab it in roughly the same place stay in there you little monkey right and we're in the same place there about and then twist to get it to hold it in from the back and my wires have come in a bit at the top so I should push them back out at the top so you've got this shape now on the back to stop the stone from popping out and then turn to the front and we're going to do the same thing on the front I'm just spreading the wires over the sides a bit so they're not all bunched together so we grab it at the bottom where it's kind of the, where the stone stops holding it down at the top quick twist and on this side I never do the left side as tidy as the right and then push the top wires out a bit one of them days today I think give it a squeeze around the stone And then fiddle with it until you're happy. It looks how you want it to. So now we need to sort out these top wires. I've definitely got four on each side. And I didn't quite centre up my weave at the bottom, so I've got one side of my wires are longer than the other, which isn't good. So you've got four wires on each side. You want to keep the back one to the back, and you want to take the other three and just scoop them over to the side for now. And for the other side, keep the back one to the back. Take the other three. Just scoop them over out the way for now. And then take your weaving wire. We're going to weave across these two back ones just to make a little bail, just to hold it all together and to hold your cord. And we're going to go just simple three wraps around the two wires and then three wraps around the one wire, the bottom wire and we'll keep repeating that three wraps around both three wraps around the bottom wire keep pushing your weave together as you go oh and I just want to take a minute here just to say uh, when you're sharing your work online could you please mention me a Kelly Jones design a lot of you do and I really appreciate it you're driving a lot of traffic to my YouTube channel and I really appreciate you guys. The I can give these tutorials away for free if you come and watch all the adverts that play. That's why I put so many on there. So you watch the adverts and Google does give me a small percentage. So when you're sharing your work online, mention me and hopefully it'll drive more traffic over to my channel. And I'm up to, I think, 30,000 subscribers now, so... I'm due to be doing a big giveaway on some jewellery. So thanks to everybody for subscribing and please mention me when sharing your finished work from my tutorials online. And um, don't share in progress um, or images of the back because it does give the design away and that stops anybody coming and having a look how it's made because they can see from your work. So thanks to everybody in advance. 
So keep compressing your weave together as you go. I've done about three centimeters of weave. So then I've pushed it forward at the bottom and I'm going to bend it over. I'd say use bail pliers, but a lot of you probably haven't got bail pliers. Could always use round nose pliers. Something to just bend it over at the top there. And then where the wire comes down the back, we want to put a dink in that, bend that out. Whoops. So we just carefully push that together. You've got that nice loop on the top, that's to put your cord through or your chain. nice and flat so where it comes together at the back there we need to join it join it to the rest of it so bring your, your wire around now and we'll go around the whole thing a few times what's that like four or five times and then pull these wires apart here and we'll go around one of the back wires just to finish that off so it holds it about three times cut that weaving wire And we'll cut these wires as well because they're going to get in the way. Cut them quite short, try and get them the same kind of size. And we'll deal with them later. So now we've got the three wires on each side. So we're going to take this first one here. I'm going to bend it this way. I'm going to take it straight down like that. And I'm going to take the next one. And I'm going to bend that as well that way. So it comes straight down to. So then I'm going to take my weaving wire and I'm going to wrap three times around this wire. So I've turned it to the side and I'm going to push it all the way up. And I'm going to go two wraps around both wires. And then I'm going to wrap around that single wire about five times. Push it together. Then I'm going to wrap around both wires twice. And I'm going to wrap around that wire. five times so I'm going to repeat that another couple of times twice around both wires and then five times around that bottom wire four five so I'm going to cut that weaving wire off at the top well, I can still get to it. I'm going to take this wire 
I'm going to bend it to go around. I want it to go this side of the wires. And then I'm going to take one of these, probably the first one. And I'm going to bring that around so that sits next to it too. So now we've got four. And I'm just going to do a quick wrap around all four wires to hold it all together there. So I'm going to go twice around the bottom too. up between those so I'm just doing the repeat that we used we went around the stone really the weave up between those and then my wires a bit springy twice around the top two coming up between the bottom two so we can go around the middle two twice then around the bottom two twice like that push it all together bring it up between the middle the bottom two and we're gonna do two wraps around that second wire so that's what we've got so far I'm going to leave the top wire alone, I'm going to hold it and push it around to the back so it's out the way. And then I'm going to take this bottom wire and I'm just going to scoop that out the way for now and leave that there. And these two wires are the ones that we're going to be working on. And the weave we're going to be doing is so we go over the opposite wire and we wrap three times then we go over the opposite wire and we wrap three times one two three it's a bit hard to hold it with this wire sticking out the back there I'm going to cut that off because I know I'm going to finish that in a bit. Over the opposite wire, wrap three times. And then over the opposite wire, wrap three times. And we're just going to keep doing that. But, three going to shape this to come around we do a few more repeats we do a few more repeats on that and then I'll shape it round and a few more repeats of that weave and I'm starting to bend it around now to follow the shape of the pendant itself so when we get here we're going to shape it even more so we're going to bring this wire around and this one around to have a nice gap in the middle so they're going to come together like this this other wire is going to follow but we're not going to attach it at the minute so now as you weave in over the opposite wire and wrap three times be careful not to pull your wires together you want to keep that nice gap that we've just shaped and you want to keep pushing it together too as you go over the opposite wire still working across those two and then wrap three times one two three push it together so when you get to about here and these two wires are going to sit like that eventually i want a little bit of a gap there 
and then I'm going to join those two wires there on my next wrap so I've gone over that opposite wire three and wrap three times now I'm going to come over this wire and I'm not just going to wrap three times I'm going to go around the two wires twice and then I'm going to wrap around the single wire once so it's held it together there and then I'm going to go over the opposite wire and carry on with the weave so keep adding repeats to that weave until you reach the edge of the pendant there and what I've done as well is I've pushed it out here and just tried to exaggerate that bend a little bit so I'm not hiding that much of the stone because I do like the look of that stone so now we're going to work on these top two wires what I'm going to do is this top wire that I bent to the back I'm just bringing that out just a little bit because we're going to need it round here for this next bit so shaping these top two wires now I'm going to bend them over to the left just going to straighten up that bail a little bit And then I'm going to scoop it over in a nice big loop over to the right. And I'm going to do that with both of the wires. Bending it from the bottom because you're changing the direction of the, the wire. And then I want them to come around and scoop around. I want it to go behind that and behind this too. So you've got to hold the top so you're not misshaping it. But I want these wires to go around there like that. I'm going to pull it through a little bit. And pull the top one down a bit. Look, it's all tied up in the weaving wire now. So keep adjusting those two top wires until you're happy with the shape. And then holding them in place where you want them to be, take both of the wires around to the back without pulling them. You've got to try and bend them and not pull them. Bend them around to the back. We can also bend this one back around to the back now too. So you're going to have to hold that front wire to bend that one around. That's almost looking finished. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Get this where you want it to be. And I've really pushed it out to the side. Because I really don't want to cover up that stone. So I can cut that weaving wire now. Because that's been doing my heading for a long time. I only just add enough wire so you could probably do with a little bit more than that. So now we're just going to finish off these wires and they're going to go down around the side. My wire is so springy, I'm so using copper next time. Little gap there, take this bottom wire. Now don't pull your wires together or you're going to crimple all this beautiful weave. I don't know if crimple is a word. And then we're going to bend this wire around and it's going to go to the side of that weave without squashing it
So now, as I'm pulling this round, it's going to try and misshape and it's going to all move. You've got to try and hold it all in place as you're doing it. Already it's starting to try to push that weave together. I need to send the other wire through at the same time. And then this one needs to come through below the weave. So they're just wrapping around the bottom. The bottom gap. And then keeping an eye on that weave. You want to tighten up these wires. Not letting that weave misshape. Keep pushing it together and don't let those two wires come together as you tighten it up. So those two wires have now gone around that bottom section. And I'll push them back over to the back. I'm going to cut a tiny bit of length. I mean, cut them leaving a tiny bit of length on there. So they can now go around that bottom weave. Oops, and I'll just squeeze them in place. so tricky trying to do this so you can see what I'm doing. Honestly, I'm not normally this bad. <laughs> Get down. Definitely one of those days. And then this last wire is going to go around as well. I say last wire, we haven't finished off the other ones yet. So that posts through as well. And I'm holding it down at the front because I don't want to misshape this one. So this one's gone above those, around, and it's here at the front now. And it's just going to have a little curl on it. To finish it off, because I haven't got any curls on this one at all. So I'm just going to cut that there. Find around those pliers, and I'll curl that wire. I left it straight really, it'd be easier to curl if I'd have left it straight. So anyway, we've got a little curly on that one, a little curly swirly. So now we need to finish off these other wires and curl those top wires there. So you can finish these wires any way you like really, you can wrap them around the neck a few times you could finish them off around one of these wires at the back i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to bend them around cut them and then i'm going to post them around and squeeze them in place that way So this last wire on the back, I'm going to make a little gap behind this wire here. Just keep grabbing this back wire and twisting a little bit so I've got a gap there. Cut a bit of length off that. And I'm just going to bend it with round nose pliers. 
take it around that back wire. When you're tightening up back wires, you've always got to keep an eye on the shape at the front. And then when you're happy with that, squeeze it in place, cut the excess off, and then squeeze that down. You need to curl those little wires at the back too. Little tiny curls. Just need to make sure that they're closed curls so they don't catch on anything. And there we have it. I don't know if I'll oxi oxidise it or not. I think it looks quite nice and shiny silver. And I do love the stripes on that stone. So I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow and I haven't confused you too much. Please mention me when showing your work online and please don't show images of the back. Thank you everybody and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to everybody who has and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.